Revenge Sleep Procrastination Five signs you're suffering from it plus how to cope. When it's bedtime, do you feel like scrolling through social media, binge-watching, midnight thoughts, or doing anything to stay awake till the following day? It is possible to have a successful career and a successful life without having a crooked sleeping schedule. In this episode of Lifehack Show, we will share what revenge sleep procrastination means and some surefire ways to cope with it. Sleep is natural and everyone was born with a good sleeping schedule. As an infant, you probably slept soundly and peed on the bedsheets. But what changed? The most successful in life are those with a good sleeping schedule. They are people who know how to handle their tasks without compromising their sleep. They are people who implement some of the tricks and hacks we have compiled in this video. Often, our life doesn't go as planned, and we get stuck in a spiral of finding ourselves and getting our life on a single track. At Lifehack, we've compiled a perfect guide that can eliminate all the hindrances and will allow you to take control when life doesn't go as planned. Check out that guide linked in the description below. Now, to have a life where you don't have trouble sleeping after a long day at work, you need to understand what revenge sleep procrastination means and commit to the following tips. At Lifehack, we also get long workdays and committing to these tips has helped us win at both ends. But what does revenge sleep procrastination mean? When you have a condition whereby you desire to sleep, but instead, you constantly find yourself engrossed in one action or another. It also means finding it hard to sleep after a long day at work. Many times, it is subconscious, meaning you do not even know that it is happening. You discover that you find yourself in front of the screen playing video games or doing something else when it's bedtime. If any of the following feels like a yes, the chances are high that you have the condition. You feel tired and inactive during the day in anticipation that there is enough time at night to do your tasks. If you always feel fatigued during the day, that could be a pointer to this condition. The night is for rest, not work. And except your work entails that you stay awake every night, you should be sleeping like billions of others. But if you sleep every night and feel this fatigue every day, your willpower and your concentrating power might be affected. So now, let's talk about some of the direction signs that indicate that you're suffering from revenge sleep procrastination. You intentionally delay sleep so that your bedtime can be reduced. If you are one of those who think that sleep is for the weak, this might be time to unlearn that nuance. Rest is for the human. It is for the strong. Stop listening to people who ask you not to sleep to be wealthy or become powerful. This may be the reason you always delay your sleep so that your duration of weakness is shortened. You feel like a champion when you are still awake by midnight. Without illness or any external reason, you should feel guilty for being awake than average. You should feel bad for intentionally shortchanging your sleep for other actions that give you immediate pleasure and enjoyment. Remember, it is not about the duration of time. It's all about your quality of sleep. When you slip into bed, you begin to review your entire day, focusing on your mistakes and imperfections. You are likely angry. That is why you want to punish your consciousness by not sleeping it off. You want to stay awake and review all that happened during the day, so that the night can be used for taking action on those mistakes and shortcomings. Some people sleep to forget, but if you wake up with thoughts of your past actions and activities, maybe this is time you start looking for a way out of this without compromising your thinking skills or health in general. These are some things that indicate that you suffer from revenge sleep procrastination. You play out conversations in your head when you are in bed. You talk to yourself without hearing or seeing yourself, and the worst part is that you always imagine having these conversations with people who have wronged you. You want to get revenge because you think it will help your sleep. When this happens, tell yourself that getting angry does not lead to actionable plans of change. Sleep is for that. It is meant for thinking to use it to make a better tomorrow instead of wasting it on emotional exchanges with people who might not even be that important to your life. You feel a sudden pang of hunger when it's bedtime. Your stomach becomes very loud when you get into bed. If this is becoming a regular occurrence, something about your eating routine needs attention. You may be eating too much or not enough. Either way, going through your day with an empty stomach would make one feel tired and lethargic. Relax. Do not be too hard on yourself so you can catch some quality sleep. If these all points feel like a yes, the chances are high that you have revenge sleep procrastination, and it is destroying your quality of life. To tweak them, you can reprogram your life to follow a particular pattern. Every night, follow a specific routine like brushing your teeth, taking a gulp of water, or a couple of mild stretches. After doing these, fall in bed and breath deeply. 
This loop of actions creates a system in your brain. And when your brain masters this routine, anytime you set out to do any of these actions, your brain triggers your numb parts, making you passive and sleepy. Asides from creating a pre-bedtime routine, what other things can you do to cope with revenge sleep procrastination? 1. Reduce daytime naps. Daytime naps are energy reservoirs. Sleeping during the day has significant energy benefits and boosts your productivity. However, as beneficial as they are, they could be disastrous. They trick your body into feeling like it has had enough rest required for that day, which is mostly not the case. Hence, at night when you need the rest, you feel awake. The trick is to strike a balance between both. You may limit the duration of your naps and keep them at 30 minutes or less. This will save you agile during the day without compromising your chances of feeling human at night. 2. Skip big late-night meals. You may never feel sleepy with a bloated stomach. Consuming certain foods in the evening is like being diabetic and snacking on ice cream and soda drinks every day. Cut back on caffeine, alcohol, and tobacco. All these things impair your sleeping abilities. 3. Be careful with water consumption. Staying hydrated is essential, it eases a lot of functions in your body and keeps you calm. But it could also impair your sleep and cause you to frequent the bathroom at midnight, which hampers your ability to get deep sleep. You may also create a routine around this by waking up every day at a specific time for the washroom. 4. Gear up your bedroom for sleep. Your sleeping environment also determines how well and well you sleep every night. Before you call it a night, set the temperature between 66 and 70 F, dim or turn off all lights. Power down devices that have a screen. If you have a bright clock at the bedside, turn it away from you. And consider using a white noise app or other soothing sounds to mask any disruptive noises. Procrastination shows up in various formats. Revenge sleep procrastination is just one of those. To learn more about how to beat procrastination and get things done in your life, check out our four-day series to break your procrastination loop and win back your life. You can check out more using the link in the description below. This video shows you 8 ways to know if you have revenge sleep procrastination and manage it efficiently. We trust that you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like icon and subscribe to our channel for more tips about getting your life in form. You can also join our social media community by clicking on the links in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.